This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Rear Brake Pads Open the driver's side door and pull the hood release lever located by the kick panel. Pull the hood safety latch forward, then raise the hood. Clean the area around the brake fluid reservoir cap, then remove the cap from the brake reservoir. To prevent brake fluid from possibly overflowing the reservoir when the caliper pistons are fully retracted, use a syringe or turkey baster to remove brake fluid until the reservoir is approximately half full. Chalk the front wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Loosen the rear wheel lug nuts. Place a floor jack under the reinforced frame area on one side of the vehicle, then raise that side of the vehicle. Support it with a jack stand placed under the notched area of the rocker panel seam. Lower the vehicle onto the jack stand and remove the floor jack. To raise both sides of the vehicle, move the floor jack to the opposite side, then place it under the reinforced frame area on that side. Raise the rear of the vehicle, then support it with a second jack stand placed under the notched area of the rocker panel seam, and lower the floor jack. When both sides of the vehicle are raised, make sure the vehicle is level from side to side. Remove the rear wheel lug nuts and remove the wheels. Release the parking brake. Turn the ignition switch to the on position, then from the on screen menu, select settings from the bottom of the screen. Next, select the brakes heading. Select service mode, followed by yes, to retract the electric parking brake. You might hear the parking brake motors run as the caliper pistons are screwed back. This is perfectly normal. Click the brake service exit X to get back to the original screen. Then click the settings, brakes, exit X to get back to the home screen. Loosen the cable clamp nut. Insert a flat blade screwdriver between the clamp ends to slightly expand the clamp, then disconnect the cable from the negative terminal of the battery. Once the cable has been disconnected, secure the cable end away from the battery terminal. Position a drain pan under the brake assembly and clean the caliper and surrounding area with brake system cleaner. Hold the caliper lower guide pin with one wrench while loosening the caliper mounting bolt. Remove the bolt and rotate the caliper up. Suspend the caliper with a length of wire or coat hanger tied to the front strut spring to prevent the caliper from falling. Remove the outer and inner brake pads. Take note of the position of the brake pad wear indicator if equipped. Remove the brake pad support plates. Clean the mounting bracket with brake cleaner to remove all remaining debris. Lightly lubricate the pad contact areas of the support plates with high temperature brake grease. Then press the support plates into place on the caliper bracket. Clean the old grease off the caliper guide pins, then apply a coating of high temperature brake grease. Check the seals for the guide pins for damage and replace them as needed. Install the inner and outer brake pads on the mounting bracket, noting the location of the brake wear sensor on the lower end of the inner brake pad. Remove the wire supporting the caliper. Lower the caliper onto the mounting bracket and over the pads, then reinstall the lower mounting bolt. Tighten the lower mounting bolt to the specified torque setting. Remove the length of wire or coat hanger tied to the spring. Repeat this procedure for the other side rear brake pads. Connect the cable to the negative terminal of the battery. Tighten the cable clamp nut securely. Turn the ignition switch to the on position, then from the on-screen menu, select settings from the bottom of the screen, then select the brakes heading. Select service mode. The screen should say park brake retracted. 
To reset, press brake pedal and activate parking brake switch. Press the brake pedal and hold it there. Using the emergency parking brake switch, pull the switch to the applied position. The screen will change to Park Brake Reset. Brake Service Exit Complete. Click the Park Brake Exit Reset X to get back to the original screen. Then click the Settings Brakes Exit X to get back to the home screen. Pump the brake pedal slowly several times to seat the pads against the disc. Then apply and release the parking brake several times. Install the rear wheels and lug nuts, then tighten them by hand. Raise one side of the vehicle at a time, remove the jack stand and lower it. Then move to the other side of the vehicle. Tighten the rear wheel lug nuts to the specified torque setting, 100 foot pounds. Remove the chalk from the front wheels. Check the brake fluid in the master cylinder reservoir and add new brake fluid if necessary until the fluid reaches the max mark in the reservoir. Clean off any brake fluid that may have dripped or spilled, then reinstall the reservoir cap.